Hi everyone, this video is to give you guys better instructions on how to log into iReady and complete your classwork math assignments. So here we are in Google Classroom and if we click on this you can see right here, here's our announcement with today's assignment. So it says Tuesday, March 24th, classwork. Log into iReady Math and complete the assigned lesson percent change. So now we go over to the Baldwin website, we click on Clever. It might pop up with a screen that says Login and you're going to click Login using Google and use your Google sign in. And now we're going to scroll down to where it says iReady. We click on iReady, it should automatically sign us in. We're going to click Math. And now right here under teacher assigned, it's going to tell us our lessons. So here we can see that we have some past due lessons. So if we click on them, we see right here that I need to finish practice solving percent problems, which was yesterday's lesson. Okay, so then I would just click continue and I would resume my lesson. Now. If you want to complete a lesson for my path, which Mr. Stark and I have not assigned for you to do, the last time you guys were asked to do this was on the very first day of distance learning, which was March 17th. So if you have not done this yet, then you need to click one lesson right here under my path. So my next lesson under iPath would be algebra and algebraic thinking add to and put together word problems. So I would click on this and I would complete one lesson. In order to complete the lesson you guys need to work throughout the entire lesson until iReady gives you an actual grade. Okay? And if you click down here where it says my progress and you click completed work it will give you your grades on your assignments. Okay? Now what Mr. Stark and I see from our screen, which I'm going to show you. Janice, thank you for letting us borrow your account. Let's see if it's going to let me log in. No, I'm still going to be signed in as Janice. Okay, one second. Let me log out of Janice is Google Classroom. And I'm going to log in actually as Mr. Stark. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try and log in with Google. I'm going to log in, sign in from our teacher page. And I'm going to show you what we see, which is why we keep telling you that your lesson is either incomplete or that you need to get a better grade. So here we go. Let's say I use Janice. So we're going to scroll back down to Janice again. Thank you, Janice. For letting us borrow you. So right here, Janice Ward. I'm going to click on her name. All right, and now I scroll down. Now, right here, it says Solve Percent Problems Part 1. This was assigned to you guys on March 18th, which you can see right here. We see that Janice worked on it for 46 minutes. Now, the program, iReady itself, tells Mr. Stark and me that it should take you about 20 minutes. It's okay if it takes you longer, but it should take you anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, which would be about the same amount of time we would practice in school in class. Great. Janice got a passing grade of an 86, and it tells us that she actually completed this on the correct day. Now, the next day, Thursday, the 19th, I believe it should have been, you guys were supposed to do Percent Problems Part 2. Right here, look, it says Teacher Assigned, so it was in that Teacher Assigned column. Janice, again, got a passing rate of a 75. This one only took her 23 minutes, and she completed it on Friday, which is okay, because we told you guys we're not uh, taking points off for lateness. Then she also completed Percent Problems Part 3. She worked for 32 minutes. She got a passing grade of a 67. Mr. Stark and I would like you guys to at least get a 70%. Um, so if you would like, you can email either one of us and ask us to resubmit you the lesson. If you got a 65 or higher, I ready counts it as passing. If you got a, a 64 or lower, I ready will tell you that you did not pass 
and automatically let you redo the lesson. If you get a lesson of 65, you need to go back in and redo the lesson on your own. If you would like to redo it with a 65 or higher, let's say you got a 81 and you want it in the 90s, or let's say you got a 67 and you want to get a 75, you can email Mr. Stark and I and we can reassign it to you so you can do it again. All right, now right here, solve percent problems. This was your lesson that was assigned to you yesterday on March 23rd. Okay, Janice only worked on this for seven minutes and right here she did not complete it. So she has no score. It says in progress on our screen. That is what the majority of you are doing for iReady. And all of your lessons say in progress. And their times might be very long, but also if you leave iReady up and running on your computer, even if it's in the background, so even if it's an inactive tab up here, the program continues to run. All right? So that's how you guys are going to do your iReady. When you're done and you go back into classes, so let's see if we can really quickly switch back over to Janice. What we would do is we go back into our assignment. We know that we finished the classwork and we hit mark as done. And now Mr. Star, can I get that notification to our email? Okay, it's going to pop up and say Janice Ward submitted her classwork for March 24th. And now we know we can go into iReady and check to see what grade she got so we can put it up in eSchool. If you have any other questions on this, logging into iReady, you can feel free to email either one of us and let us know.